Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. So today is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to everybody that, you know, is a father. <laughs> but today I'm going to go ahead and talk about two shots. And uh, for the first one, it's going to be future meetups. So for future meetups, this shot right here, it was actually really interesting because at first I was just trying to cap. There's a whole like, it's not as deep, but there's a whole like other side to it, this actual shot. So first of all, uh, this shot, I ended up taking it outside of the hostel where I was going to stay at because uh, I was wanting to do some street photography because basically I was supposed to get there at a certain time. I think 2 p.m. was a check-in and I got there early, like 11 a.m., 10 a.m. or something like that. So I said, OK, I'm going to leave my bags at the hostel and I'm just going to go do some street photography while, you know, I'm waiting. So basically what happened is that I was just uh, walking around doing street photography and I was trying to basically with this shot, I was trying to capture the type of clothing that people from Hamburg wear, but later on, you'll see why it's not that case. But basically, I wanted to capture, uh, you know, uh, basically the style of the people in Hamburg. And that's why I ended up taking this picture. But there's, there's a story behind this. OK, so I end up going back to my hostel uh, and I check in. Right. So then I go up onto the actual room and I find out that this person that I ended up taking a picture of is actually one of the people that uh, is in the room with me. <laughs> so it was like a mixed storm, right? It was like a four beds mixed storm. So she was in there and then somebody else that I ended up meeting from Chicago was in there too. So I was ending up having to be in the room with both of them and then, you know, an extra person, but the extra person hadn't gone, gotten there yet. But I walk in and uh, basically uh, you know, everybody says, hi, Hey, my name is Eli, you know, Oh, this is this, this is this person, this is this person. And then after that, uh, I believe that I ended up going back out and doing some more street photography. Right. But whenever I came back, they were both still in the room and they were playing Uno. <laughs> they were playing Uno that night. So I asked them, Hey guys, uh, are you guys wanting to, uh, you know, go out and drink or like hang out or something? I was really tired at this point. I probably been doing street photography for like six hours already, but I still wanted to see if they wanted to go out. And if they didn't want to go out, then I was just going to take that as, you know, uh, well, I'm just going to chill and not do anything tonight because I'm tired from the train and then doing street photography the whole day. So basically, I, I ended up asking them and they were like, oh, actually, no, I think we're going to stay in and, uh, you know, play Uno. <laughs> so I was like, and they were like, hey, well, uh, do you want to join? I was like, sure. So I just started playing Uno, right? So basically, uh, we actually ended up, uh, you know, introducing each other and everything. And I t uh, basically... Uh, we ended up talking about uh, either going to a bar or whatnot, but at the end, we ended up just going down to the second floor of the hostel, buying some beers from the actual bar in the hostel, and then just drinking and talking and playing Uno, and that's all we did that night. <laughs> Nothing crazy, uh, but it was just uh, pretty uh, cool to me that I ended up taking this shot, and I ended up actually meeting this person in the same hostel room that I was going to stay at later that day, so it was actually pretty interesting. The, this shot itself is not super deep and it's like you know not me trying to capture something specific but then i ended up finding out that she isn't even from hamburg she's from another city in germany so kind of that kind of didn't capture that culture type of that city <laughs> so that you know that that's how that goes but that's that shot and then uh for the next shot it's called uh philadelphia talent so one of the things that i uh, this shot right here one of the things that I like to do in these, uh, you know, videos is that I'll go ahead and talk to you guys about the shot and then I'll go ahead and tell you guys also about uh, things relating to that shot, like, you know, where where it was taken, uh, things to do around there and stuff like that. So this is one of those. So this is uh, a right outside of uh, Reading Terminal Market. So Reading Terminal Market is a really cool place that you can go to in Philadelphia where it has a whole bunch of different restaurants where you can try, try different pa pastries, you can try uh, you know, you can have the Philadelphia cheesesteak, all that stuff. Um, but it's all in one location. They even have ice cream there and everything. It's like a whole bunch of restaurants in one location, right? Uh, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a huge market. Uh, but basically what I ended up doing is that I was outside of it and I was doing street photography around Reading Terminal Market just because on the weekends it's extremely uh, busy. So what I ended up doing is that I was walking around and I ended up seeing him going to go set up on one of the streets around the Reading Terminal Market since it gets a lot of traffic to do his, uh, you know, musician uh, like street talent stuff. 
So I ended up taking a shot as he was walking towards that location. But basically around Reading Terminal Market, there's a whole bunch of people doing stuff on, stuff on the streets. My favorite one was definitely somebody uh, playing jazz music on a saxophone. <laughs> That dude was awesome. <laughs> I can't find a video where I ended up, uh, you know, recording it, but it's actually uh, it, that dude was really, really good at saxophone. But I, unfortunately, this person that I took a picture of, they actually I wasn't able to see them uh, perform because I had to like keep moving on. I was on my way to uh, Philadelphia Museum of Arts, but I ended up doing as much street photography as I could there. And another thing, I actually ended up going to Reading Terminal Market multiple times throughout you know my trip, just because I knew that there was a whole bunch of varieties of food. You can get Chinese food, you can get um, you know Philly cheesesteak, you can get burgers, you can get everything that you can think of. You can get at Reading Terminal Market. So instead of trying to like go hunt for you know different types of food and like uh, basically like stressing out about where I was gonna eat, I made it a point to go to there almost every day and uh eat there because you know it was all there i could just choose from whatever i wanted and it just made it way easier but yeah <laughs> that's basically that shot i was trying to capture uh somebody you know new musician and then i was also angling the shot so you guys got a more uh like you know the reflection from the windows behind it and everything and kind of like guiding your eyes towards the depth so whenever you angle your shot like this you're able to draw people's eyes in and then you either put a subject there or you put a subject at the very end so their eyes lead straight to that subject so this is what i did with this one i didn't you know put somebody at the very end of the depth for the eyes to lead to that depth i actually put somebody in the foreground so you know that's automatically that's a subject and then you know but you still get drawn in because there's an angle and there's depth going to it so that's basically the shot but yeah those are the two shots for today guys and i ended up putting up some lights and everything and just uh you know upgrading my little studio space and whatnot but there's still definitely a lot more work to do with it but again, I really appreciate you know guys tuning in and everything and actually listening to me talk about my street photography and, you know, the stories behind them. And that was actually one of the interesting ones because I ended up seeing, well, not not the one that I was just talking about, but the future meetups, this shot right here, because it was one of those shots where I ended up uh, meeting that actual person that I took a shot of. But later, literally like an hour or two hours after I took the shot and uh it was actually pretty interesting but yeah i hope you guys have a good sunday night and i'll go ahead and catch you guys next time